Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raurkela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now, let us see how to solve this given question. Okay. Here, we need to evaluate integral dx by 3 cos x plus 4 sin x plus 6. Okay. I'm going to make it easy for you. So, please stay with me and I'm going to go a bit slow. Okay. So, that you can understand because I know that many of you feel integration is a bit tough. First step, take the given integral as i. Let i is equal to this integral. Okay. Now, here we are going to make a substitution, okay. Now, what is that substitution is whenever, you see, whenever in the denominator there is sin and cos like this, okay. You see there is a linear combination of sin and cos in the denominator. In that case, what we do is we put t is equal to tan x by 2, okay. We put t is equal to tan x by 2. Now, what will happen? Listen carefully. I am going to explain the process also in detail dt is nothing but secant square x by 2 into half dx. Now listen how this has come. dt is one. See, I'm just differentiating both sides in this. So I'll get dt on the left side. Derivative of tan x is what? Derivative of tan x is secant square x. Okay, derivative of tan x is secant square x. But in place of x, I have x by 2. So I'd get secant square x by 2. So as per chain rule, as per chain rule, I would get into derivative of x by 2 as well. Okay which is nothing but half derivative of x by 2 is half dx okay so it's fine and secant square x is nothing but 1 plus tan square x so secant square x by 2 is 1 plus tan square x by 2 this half is there right so this 2 just send it to the lhs so i'd get 2 dt now what is our t uh, what is our tan x by 2 it is nothing but t what is our tan x by 2 it is nothing but t so what i'd get is what i'd get is 2 dt is equal to 1 plus t square into dx okay I forgot like since we are just differentiating I get a dx here I forgot to explain that in this step while I was explaining so we have a dx as well so find this dx is there now send this 1 plus t square to the LHS so I'd get 2 dt by 1 plus t square is dx okay now see uh, also sin x is 2t by 1 plus t square cos x is 1 minus t square by 1 plus t square now how and why I'm not going to explain all that See, in case if you feel this process is a bit tough, you can just write in exam. You can just write this step, this step, and this step. These three steps I gave for explanation. If you feel it's a bit tough, you can just, you know, use what I just mentioned. Okay. Uh, you can just write this much. No one is going to cut any marks. This much is sufficient. This for your understanding, so that you can understand not just mug up why t, when t is tan x by 2, why this has come. Now, let's go to our actual question. Now, see. Now see carefully how I am going to make, make substitutions. See, what is dx? dx is nothing but 2 dt by 1 plus t square. dx is 2 dt by 1 plus t square. So in place of dx, you are going to see 2 dt by 1 plus t square. Okay. Cos x is 1 minus t square by 1 plus t square. So here 3 into 1 minus t square by 1 plus t square and plus 4 into 2 t by 1 plus t square and plus 6 hundred. So my i is nothing but my going, i is going to become this. Okay. I already explained all the steps how it came. Now basic simplification. In the denominator, take LCM. Okay, say one plus x, one plus t square. If you take it as LCM, like these two terms have one plus t square in the denominator, but this six doesn't have. So I get six into one plus t square, and then entire the denominator becomes common once LCM is taken. Now one plus t square, one plus t square, you can cancel. So I get two t, two dt by three into one minus t square is three minus three t square. Four into two t is nothing but eight t. Six plus six t square. Okay, I hope things are clear after now. Next, some basic simplification, 6t square minus 3t square is plus 3t square and 6 plus 3 is 9 and then 8t. Okay, so 3t square plus 8t plus 9, integral 2 dt by. Now, to integrate this, I am going to convert this into some kind of perfect square plus something or perfect square minus something, something like that. Okay, I want, a perf I want to write it of that form. Okay, so that I can integrate it easily. Now, how I'm going to do it is, for take this separately, 3t square plus 8t plus 9, take this separately and do it. Okay. I'm going to go a bit slow here because many of you feel difficulty, might feel difficulty in this step. So, listen to me carefully. This is important. Now, what we are going to do is, first, I'm going to make the coefficient of t square 1. Now, how I'm going to do it is, take 3 common, take 3 common. So, since I took 3 common, here 3 is not there, so I would get 8 by 3. 
this 9 I can write it as 3 into 3. So, 1 3 is taken out. So, 1 3 remains. I hope this step is clear. Again, any doubts, please come in the comments box. I'm, I can help you out there. I'll try my best to help you out there. Okay. Because if I'll explain each and everything in detail, the video would be just too lengthy and it might, you might feel, you guys might feel boring as well. Now, next. This 8t by 3, okay, write it as 2 into. 2 into t into 4 by 3. See, 8 by 3 I wrote as 2 into 4 by 3. 2 keep it here. 2 into t into 4 by 3. Okay, fine. Now, why I am why I'm writing like this? Why I am writing like this is? The reason is pretty simple. This is like something like a square plus 2ab. This is something like a square plus 2ab. Okay, fine. So, if you were to observe what I want to say, this is like a square plus 2ab. Now, now to complete the square, I need plus b square. I need plus b square. So, add and subtract b square. Now, if you'll use the same analogy which I just said, okay. So, uh, 2 into t into 4 by 3. So, this 4 by 3 holds 4 by 3 square. I, I'm going to add and subtract. I'm going to add and subtract 4 by 3 square. Now, what will happen? What will happen if you'll do this? These three terms... This is what a square plus 2ab plus b square, which is nothing but a plus b whole square, which is nothing but a plus b whole square. So, this is t plus 4 by 3 whole square, okay. And 4 by 3 whole square is nothing but 16 by 9. So, 3 put it in the front, minus 16 by 9, I wrote like this because it will be easy when I'll take LCM and all, okay. Next. So, just take LCM. So, 3 9s are 27, 27 minus 16 by 9. And 27 minus 16 is 11. So 11 by 9. Okay. This is what I have. Now I told you in the beginning, right? I want a perfect square plus another perfect square. So this 11 by 9, it's not in the perfect square form. Like it's not something like something square. So I'm going to make it like that. Now how it is. 11 can be written as root 11 whole square. And 9, it's already a perfect square. You can just write it as 3 square. Now, a square by b square can be written as a by b whole square. Root 11 by 3 whole square. Now, I got what I wanted. See, I wanted to achieve that. Some perfect square plus perfect square. Now, I got it. Now, let's come back to our integral. Now, i would be nothing. See, our i is this. Our i is this, right? Integral 2 dt. Now, this 3t square plus 8t plus 9, we modified it to this. So, in the in place of this, this in the denominator, write this 3 into t plus 4 by 3 square. Okay. Now, this 2 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator are constants. Keep it outside. Bring it outside. Integral dt by t plus 4 by 3 square plus root 11 by 3 square. Now, from here on, it's very simple. See, this is of the form integral dx by x square plus a square. Okay. Integral dx by x square plus a square is nothing but tan inverse x by a. It is nothing but tan inverse x by a. Okay. Fine. So, formula tan inverse x by integral dx by in place of x there is t plus 4 by 3 and in place of a there is root 11 by 3 okay so that's the basic substitution x t plus just take lcm here so 3t plus 4 by 3 by root 11 by 3 hmm? 3 3 cancel and what is our t tan x by 2 okay T is tan x by 2, right? If you guys remember in the beginning, we. Okay, thank you.